everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Ford Air. We're here at Grand National F100 Show 2021. And we're having a blast. All right, so we're gonna walk around, or I am actually walking around. And decided, hey, Justin, let me see your truck. So here's Justin, and that's his truck. Yeah, that's it. And uh, let's walk around it, just give me a little one over. All right. I started out with, I learned today is a 2011 Crown Vic. Uh, Use the floor, chassis, firewall. Uh, I had SS Chassis Works build me some Custer upper A arms. Uh, I used the, all the drive train. Uh, it's body dropped on 22s. Uh, uh, the whole harness is from the big. Everything works just like it's supposed to. Uh, I've started on the interior. We've got F-150C. It's getting there. I got the carpet. It's ready to go in. Uh, the 22s killed the factory Crown Vic suspension though, so I cut it off at the cab and back half it. How, how tough was that to do? It wasn't bad, but it, you can weld, it's not that hard. But I built the back half on a table and then set it down inside the Vic frame and then just cut the frame out around it. Right you still using the Vic rear end? Uh, yeah, it's a 98 to 02 rear end. Okay, uh, so a little bit narrower. It's narrower, yeah. Uh, but I got the airlift P3. I've got the height sensor upgrade. Just haven't had time to put it on. Uh, one of my favorite things is the fuel cell. Uh, me and a friend of mine built it. And I utilize the factory fill neck, so that's that's probably my favorite thing on the truck. That's awesome. My favorite thing is the patina. Yeah, the patina, it's awesome. That's why I bought the truck, though. Yeah. I mean. Things badass. Well, make sure to uh, follow his IG. Jenkins 423. <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, I'm gonna keep walking around. I'm gonna try to bring you a bunch more of these. <laughs> we're walking around and we're here with Dan Bouchard and Carlos is 58 and he's gonna show it around. How we doing everybody? Thanks for taking the time, but this is Carlos, my 58 F100. Um, started out as an Oklahoma truck. I found it online uh, with a Facebook group and, uh, and bought it sight unseen, had it delivered from Oklahoma back to Connecticut. That's amazing. And uh, that was back in 2015. And, and it took, uh, right at three years to build it to what you see today. So how did the, how did it turn into what we see here today? Well, we had a, a, a rendering done by Eric Rockmeyer. Uh, Ryan works with him, Ryan Corrick from Corrick Designs. And uh, I put all my ideas in, a, in about a 20 page PowerPoint presentation and sent it off to Eric. And I said, these are all the features and design changes that I want to build into it. And then he put it to paper and made the, made the vision come to life. And uh, so what you're looking at today, and then Ryan, Ryan and his team took over from there. That's amazing. So, but a lot of a lot of work into that hood. Uh, didn't have hood scoops. Um, we extended the lines in the cow uh, in the hood. It used to stop about here, and then we filled in the cow and then extended lines from the from the hood into the cow. And that was probably the hardest fab fab part on the on, on the truck. Put it on an Art Morrison chassis and. Um, Work with Mike Curtis to have some one-off wheels designed that I helped uh, get involved with, so that was kind of cool. That is really cool. And um, the interior was done by uh, Mr. John Miller up in Ohio, yes. up Familiar in London, Ohio, work. and uh, he does a lot of a lot of nice high-end stuff. And I was able to commission him to, uh, to put Carlos together for me. We wanted to make it simple and timeless, mm. and uh, but functional. I think you should feed it with that. Well, thank you. Um, Put an oak bed in it. I wanted, always wanted an oak bed, but I didn't want to put the, the wooden slats uh, or the metal slats, I should say. So we followed the design cue on the hood and worked it all the way through back to the bed. Back here, they uh, they ran my three-inch exhaust all the way back and went to a center exhaust, which is what I wanted. Took a couple of bumpers and turned it into one. Did the, uh, the gas the gas up underneath here, oh, so I didn't trick. have to look at the fill. I like the latch too. Yeah, they made that to match up with the door handles. Oh, the cool. door handles I took off a 1970 BMW. Huh. But they, they fit the truck perfectly. It's hot rodded. And exactly. <laughs> These taillights are out of a 78 Camaro. Huh. So I uh, got a little bit of Chevrolet in it. Hey, I won't tell if you won't tell. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, we were lucky to get a big window truck because it's all about the big window. and. Uh, we got rid of the vent window and made it wider. Everybody thinks I chopped the top, but 
But just by changing that window, it, it fools the eye that it came down because you extended out the window. It sure does. So last thing I'm going to do is chop a top being 6'2 <laughs> um, and, and go from there. But it's a, it's a dream come true and uh, it worked out pretty well. What I really like about this truck in particular is that you really use the truck, you enjoy the truck, and you share it with everybody. Because yeah. I've seen this truck all over the place. Yep. It's been a lot of fun. It, it, it's been a dream uh, to be able to build it, and, and, and I shot to pinch myself that I get to bring it home at, after every show. But uh, it's a lot of fun sharing it with people and meeting new friends. And we met some folks here from Texas now that we're, we're friends with already and, and uh, exchanging you know, Instagram accounts and everything. So it's been a lot of fun. A lot of people know Carlos. Uh, just from online uh, media, I'm not a, uh, a, uh, a media guy really, but I post about every show and have a lot of fun meeting people and sharing, sharing the, you know, the dream. So, what's under the hood? Well, we uh, I bought a crashed F-150, a 2014, and I took the motor, uh, the transmission, the, the computer, and the wiring harness, uh, took it apart, and then we. Supercharged it, and built it up, and man, does that look nice. She's running a lot of horsepower, more than I'll ever use, but uh, it uh, turned out pretty well. That is great. Brian did a phenomenal job on this. They did. I mean, yeah, the current finish on this is not even, it's not even normal. That's great. They spent a lot of time underneath. They, uh, they put a second double panel. They reversed the lines. Then they cleaned up everything, and you know, just the fit and finish on this thing was just unbelievable. Well, we took about three inches out of the grill to be able to tuck it back up under. Um, we kept all the original headlight bezels, but then we split the, the grill in half and then peeked it out to match the hood. So then it looked like a reverse uh, infinity pool, and then it just got less and less until it got to the bottom. So. I mean. This truck is beautiful. Thank you. Dan, thanks for sharing it with us. Let them know what your Instagram handle is. It's uh, Bouchard6808 uh, at Instagram. There you so go. Check out Carlos online. Thanks. Uh, see you in a little bit, buddy. All right, thank you. So everybody, we're here with John from Ozan Chassis Shop. And uh, we met him out at Mobile at Battle of Bama, and he brought his truck over here to Grand Nationals. Figured I'd give you guys a little, you know, show it to you again in case you didn't see it then. John, show us your truck a little bit. Well, we have a 72 sport size, sport uh, five liter Coyote with a T56 Magnum, Dakota Digital, roaster shop chassis with uh, two piece billet wheels. And uh, it's just, it's a very nice truck, got TMI interior. And it's all put together with a, by our shop, which is Ozan Chase's shop in Alabaster, Alabama. And uh, we just enjoy driving. And it is for sale. Hit him up. What's up? What's your phone number? Uh, 1205-216-8173. And what are you asking for her? 85 or best off. There we go. And let me show you guys this thing. So this truck is beautiful. It's a 72. These wheels look original, but they're not. They're billet uh, forge line wheels that he had uh, patina painted. Like you, he said, TMI interior, the seats, dash pads, got Dakota gauges, a T56, vintage air. And I mean, this is a completely badass finished truck. Everything about this thing is just killer. Okay. This smells so good. So you can check him out on Instagram. It's uh, Johnny Nitro 1968. And uh, there he goes. We'll see you guys in a little bit at the next truck. Nice hey guys, twice. here's Ronald in his 79. Tell us a little about your truck just real quick. So the truck was originally from Oregon. It was a forest revision truck that lived its life in the forest for 12, 14 years, sold it to a potato farmer. I bought it from them. Since then, we've added a six inch soft ride Skyjacker suspension lift all the way around. 20 inch uh, fuels with 40 inch nitos. Um, most recently we did a 6.0 power stroke uh, conversion. Um, it's been bulletproof, deleted. Uh, it's got a 65 millimeter uh, power max turbo VGT system. Warren diesel prototype harness and Warren diesel tunes. Um, interior wise, we harvested out of a Eddie Bauer Expedition 05. I'm sorry, Excursion 05 and an 05 rear bench seat to match. Man, I love those highlighters. Um, that was uh, 
my favorite thing. Uh, I like old school, new school, so I had to put a little old school in there, old school winch bumper on the front, went with new school interior, new school motor, new school uh -huh. tires and wheels. It's about us. I like it. It's and it exactly works well. Doctor ordered. It works well, and the guys that helped me, you know, built the motor, gearhead, power stroke, turbo diesels, knocked it out of the park. Uh, ben Ebling, Williams and Ebling Inc. actually did the install of the motor in the truck and did the custom fab stuff. They knocked it out of the park. I can't complain at all. Awesome. Well, Ron, we're gonna run around. Great to see you, buddy. Thanks, man. Have a good one. You too. He's already playing the party. Here my boy Shane, and uh, if you guys don't know him, he makes the thickest model cars. Shane, tell me who you are. I'm Shane Harold. I'm from Cleveland, Tennessee. Uh, I go by Man Cave Models on Facebook and Slammed I Am a One on Instagram. Uh, been building these stuff for years now, so. I guess I'm surprised that they this is a 69 I built. It's painted school bus yellow. Uh, pretty much made the wheels. Can I hold it? Yeah. How cool is this? Now, unfortunately, he does not do any commission work. No matter what a good friend you are to him or anything. Yeah. Now, he said there might be a chance that gold dust but he's gonna probably keep that. Yeah. But at least I'll be able to see it. Now, his stuff, on average, how many hours would you say you have in one of your models? Uh, this one, I've probably got about three to four months, more on the four month side in the yet. Uh, I've got one, the 71 F100 that I built. I got almost 10 months in it. I got about $400 just in parts on it. You know, with the, uh, that's not even including my time, so. And when he says parts, like he's getting like custom 3D printed wheels and custom 3D printed axles and like the coolest, tiniest details. Yeah, this one, this one right here has got some of it on there. Oh, I'm happy you brought that one. I figured you was wanting oh, to see this one. Let me see this thing. This one is so cool. So this is a 71 or 72? 72. 72. That's the one that uh, Ryan Z-Force made the wheels. He made the inner fenders on it. Uh, I mean, literally, this from like a certain angle, a certain yeah. angle you don't know. It's, it's crazy, yeah. the detail. Let me flip this one up. This one has the four link and coilovers on the back. I would open the hoods up more, but the hinges only go so far up. She went to the doctor. She saw the doctor. That's so trick. They're fun to do. That's a really awesome hobby. I mean, out of everybody I know, you do the baddest ones, and I'm sure that you know you are like ah, because the... yeah, some... you probably follow some guys that are like holy yeah. cow. Yeah, there's some guys that comes to some of the shows that are just, I mean, the amount of details and stuff that some of them put in it. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, they'll put you know rivets and all that in a bunch of them. So, but it's just something for me to do to kill time when I ain't doing something else build them more during the winter time because you know it's cold we can't get out and do stuff so and the and best you, part about this is this kind of garage kind of stays clean because it's just a counter probably you know like a nice counter but well, still. i got two places i got a place inside where you know my work bench and then the outside i've got a 10 by 20 building it's fully insulated wired i've got a, i've actually got a paint booth out there that i paint them in so i hardly get any trash or anything in them anymore so that's awesome. So tell them again where they can follow you. Uh, on Facebook, it's Man Cape Models, and Instagram is Slammed I Am A One. Oh. You guys, make sure to check it out. He is one first before this, one of the best people. Second, he's got way more F100s and other really cool stuff, but a lot of F100s on there. So uh, we're gonna keep enjoying the show. We'll see you in a second. If you can, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. And if not, comments always help. So just drop something. And uh, we'll see you later. Peace.